Hi friends and subscribers, this is Mahmoud Sheikh and from past few videos I am working on developing a blog application using PHP and MySQL. In my last video I completed the functionality of adding the comment for any post and displaying those comments just below uh, that post. Okay, and in this video I will be uh, discussing how to uh, view uh, or how to list it down all the users that have registered to our blog application okay this uh, video or this tutorial was requested by one of my viewer uh, to make a video like this where uh, where i can display all the list a list of all the users registers okay register register to my application okay so for that uh, first we need to create a file with a name as blog uh, sorry uh, users so i'll just right click and then click on okay i'll just save it with name as users dot php okay now let's come here okay okay so let's close this i'll just copy this and i will put it here And if okay, and here I will include my header and footer files. Okay, inc slash header dot php, and I want to include footer dot php file as well okay and inside this i will include my sorry config db.php file which is present inside config folder let's save it okay now okay here inside this i will okay first i should create a container do with a class of container okay so now let's go to our inc and let's open our header inside our uh, navigation menu we have to add uh, we have to add a link copy and it here and that link is view all users let's okay, save it okay for this we need to call users.php okay now let's refresh our page and let's come to our users.php and h1 view all users okay save it refresh okay now let's click on this settings option and you here you can see i got a link called all users when i click on this i i got a i am redirected to a file called users.php okay so now below this uh, title i have to display all the users that have registered to my application okay if i go to my database and I, if I click or if I open the table in which I will get the details of all the users that register to my application here these are the users okay when uh, the first record is the admin and the uh, rest of the two records are normal users okay so in this video I'll be displaying uh, these two normal users okay so now let's come here style let us let's bring it to the center text align center okay and let's come here and open a php tag okay and then like to write an sql query okay so for this i will just copy this entire code okay sql and then a result i'll just pass this sql here again this is our connection object with which we are uh, able which we with the help of which we can uh, uh, communicate with our database okay so here 
SQL select star from users okay I want the details of all the users uh, okay and okay so here you can see I want to display the name of the user uh, the users profile picture and their designation okay so from this users table I can get only email okay and username but I want uh, the designation and profile picture as well okay which are stored inside my profile table okay so what I should do is I have to join these two tables profiles and profile and users table so that I can get the complete information of profile picture and uh, profession username and email ID okay so now let's come here let's join select star from users and then let's make an inner join okay let's join our users table with profile table on users dot okay so we have a field in our users table okay so we have a field user uh, id okay we have a field id and the same field id or the users id i am storing inside my profile table as well so i'll be matching these two uh, these two fields id of users table and and uh, user role of uh, profile table okay so now that's users dot id equals to profile dot user role save it okay i want i don't want this where clause okay save it here just copy and put it here put it here okay and then here i want this is users i want id i want username now uh, but now both of our table users and profile are joined with each other so that i can get the details or the required information from both the tables and then here and here email okay and then here altar just copy paste it here just remove this okay now need to close this open okay now let's create a row class row okay and then do with a class of column large four okay and then okay inside this four column i'll be displaying the image and i will create one more view with a class of eight columns okay here inside this i will display my image okay go avatar okay and then alt equals to profile pick okay and then style okay i will set the width and height for my image height will be of 200 pixel and width will be of 200 pixel okay and now just save it let's refresh our application now you can see it's displaying an error okay that means we have made some mistake okay so select start from users okay sql result okay let's try to print this query okay select star from users the join profile on users okay user role okay this should be user role let's remove this echo let's refresh okay undefined variable posts on 1617 okay here let's copy save it okay now it's displaying me uh 
the pro the profile pic okay so now let's make it look better okay so then next properties border radius to 50 percent okay and i want an hr as well save it okay border radius okay percent save it okay now this uh, uh, profile profile pic is displaying properly okay now in the next section here i will display the username h1 username okay and then I will display email okay save it let's refresh okay now it's displaying me uh, name and email okay so what email I want to display as p tag okay okay now it's displaying me all the users okay so here i have logged in as an admin and in the users list it's displaying me the profile pic and the additional uh, the related details of admin as well okay so but i don't want to display the details of the admin here also because uh, since i am the admin and i don't want to see the uh, details of the admin as well okay so i'll just come here and i will use a condition where uh, okay so let's come to our table first okay the user role okay and then come to users table okay where users okay so let's do this way okay where users dot user role is not equals to one okay here you can see the user role in the users table uh, is one zero zero one is for admin and uh, zero zero for normal users okay since i don't want to display the details of uh, uh, this uh, admin who has a user role as one so i will just specify mention in the query that i want i don't want the details of that record whose id whose user role is equals to one okay so, or i just want to get the details of those users who has uh, who don't have the user role as one okay so now let's refresh okay now it's displaying me the records of two users okay normal users okay so now this is how we can uh, display all the users information okay now let's go to dashboard and now if i go to again the settings option if i click on all users it will display me all the information of all the users okay so now let's log out okay and this uh, particular section should only display to admin okay so here i have logged in as an admin so when i click on this okay so let's come go from the url users.php so i'll be able to see this section where i can see the different users okay, so but now if i try to log in as a normal um, user so let's try let's try to log in as a normal user so i'll just log out from the admin and i'll lo i'll try to i will log in as a normal user now okay now i will log in as a normal user and still if i okay still if i try to go from uh, go to users.php it will display me all the users okay but it should not uh, display all these users when a normal user gets logged in okay okay here okay so now here inside this uh, drop down uh, settings it's displaying all users as well okay so we need to uh, hide that option as well from the uh, from the normal user so for that we need to uh, use some if conditions uh, with the help of which we can display these settings only to uh, admin okay so now let's do that first 
okay so now let's come here to our header and here okay okay let's put an if condition okay here if if the logged in user okay users id is equals to one that means that user is an admin then he can see this hp else okay and then and if okay so now I, i'm uh, i'm showing this all users option only to that user who has the uh, user id as one okay and we already know that the user id one is belongs to admin okay so now let's refresh and now if i click on this drop down i will not see the uh, all users option okay so but if i if I okay if I remove if I comment this okay now when I refresh now I have logged in as a normal user and now you can see all users option is displaying now let's reverse it okay now when I refresh and click on the settings option you can see all users option is not displaying here on this drop down okay so now uh, this problem gets solved okay so but the problem the other problem is also there users.php whenever user uh, normal user tries to access the users.php file from the url he'll be uh, getting this users.php file okay so for that we need to come to our users.php file okay so here below this okay, we need to use an else if condition and inside this we need to put the same condition okay here i will just copy and i will just put it here okay so that users.php page should only be accessible to that user who has the user id as one okay else if and then here okay and then we here add we need to come at the end and then we need to put else condition okay and then inside else we need to put this we need to redirect the user to dashboard.php okay so if the user who is trying to access the users.php file is a normal user that means that user's user id will not be one so in that case he should be redirected to dashboard.php okay so now you can see if i refresh this page uh, i'll i'll be directly redirected to dashboard.php file because now i'm uh, because the person who has logged in is not an admin now let's see see now immediately i have been redirected to dashboard.php so now you can see i'm not getting that use all users link here and i will, i cannot go users.php file from the okay so here this is how we can restrict the users from uh, restrict certain users from getting the access to some restricted pages okay uh, so now this is how we can uh, okay so now let's log out first and now let's log in as an admin okay now i'm logging in as an admin now you can see i can see this option of all users when i click on that option i can get the details of all the users who have registered to my application okay so now uh, this is how we can display the uh, different users in our application and restrict the users from accessing uh, some uh, some private pages okay so i hope you like this video i hope you get some useful information out of this video if you like this video uh, click on like button and share it with your friends and subscribe to our channel and uh, i will see you guys in my next video where i'll be discussing on 
password change functionality okay so what i'll be doing is i'll be adding one more list item uh, called as a change password or reset password uh, option with the help of which users or users can update their password okay so uh, that we will discuss in our next video okay uh, till then goodbye guys i will see you guys in my next video thanks for watching